Hi y'all. Okay, she was seven. I am doing a video about something silly, some celebrity uh, issues. Um, but it's also for advice for men and women. Um, okay, everyone has probably seen some of these pictures floating around Facebook and the internet of uh, the singer Sierra who has a young son from a rapper she was married to and she divorced him because he was you know cheating on her and before she married him she knew that he had like a bunch of kids from a di bunch of different women okay but she still married him because she was pregnant so she you know she's like well I'll do the right thing she made friends with all the, the mothers of the other children she um, also, you know, spent time with his other children as well. And, you know, she thought she was going to be special because, you know, I'm a celebrity. I'm beautiful. I'm Sierra. I sing. I dance. I'm, you know, I'm going to be different. Sadly, she was not different and he still cheated on her. And so she was like, you know what? I'm too good for this. I'm going to divorce you and leave. I, I got my son you know we had a baby together but you have other kids that you know you abandoned and left to and I, I just can't accept this my standards are just too high for this I just I cannot accept this so I have to go out and find you know or actually I just have to go out and people will find me because I'm Sierra uh, so I met this guy, he's a football player and he plays for, you know, the Seahawks and he's very handsome and he has like way more money than future. Way more. <laughs> I mean, and he looks better. Um, and oh my gosh, he took me to dinner at the White House. I got to meet the president because I upped my standards in the type of men that I deal with because I learned my lesson from dealing with loser men. All right. I'm, I'm just saying what Sierra probably was thinking. I mean, Sierra was thinking, okay? <laughs> so, you know, the best revenge on any man who cheated on you and you leave is to upgrade, ladies. Always upgrade. Never go backwards. Never go back to the same old men who treated you like crap. Upgrade. Upgrade. Okay. So she upgraded to the White House to a guy who just got $87 million contract, who is cute, by the way, okay? Future's uh, her, her baby daddy. He's all on Twitter being upset that she has his son around a man who actually has time to spend with him because he doesn't have 18 other kids. <laughs> he's mad at another man for stepping in and doing his job that he's supposed to be doing or he was supposed to take seriously and a lot of people are in uproar over this especially men they're like don't take my kid around some guy what well, they're engaged they're going to be married they say they haven't had sex yet because they're trying to do the right thing and get to know each other before getting emotionally involved sexually involved and all that kind of stuff so they're you know i think they're doing the right thing because Laying down, having sex with somebody, getting pregnant, and then having to marry them and their baby mamas and baby's kids. It's not very smart. So she learned her lesson there. And she decided to upgrade and, you know, sustain from getting pregnant before she gets married to someone. <laughs> uh, by not having sex, she's taking that option off the table. And... This guy's actually being a good role model and stepping in and playing the father role to her son who has to share his daddy with a bunch of other kids and women. So I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, ladies, I do think you should upgrade if you are in a situation where the man you are with is dragging you down, making you unhappy, making you feel less than your worth because your worth is a lot. I mean look at look at her she is very beautiful she still got cheated on she had someone's child she still got cheated on when a woman is smart and knows how to choose a man and knows how to upgrade knows how to you know do what's best for her 
and her child, that's a smart woman. Now, of course, I know people are gonna say, well, he can cheat on her too, he can do this, he can do that. Yeah, but he's not some cheesy, probably, uh, he's not some cheesy, habitual, uh, baby-making uh, rapper who's probably not gonna have a career in about five years, you know? This guy is gonna have, he, he, this guy has serious money that he can invest and have a future in, you know? And uh, the rapper guy, you know, he's, most rappers are only hot for a minute and then they fall off and, you know, what happened to them and, you know, they still got all these kids to support and don't have the money to, you know. Uh, so, guys cannot be mad at a woman for taking control of her life and getting her child what, what they need, a male role model, you know, a father figure, a stepfather. They, they cannot be mad at that. Women have plenty of options and they don't have to travel far to go find their options. Their options have been there. Their options are on back burners. If you think, unless you're messing with the lowest of the low type of women, your woman has options right now. Even if she's married to you, she has options waiting on back burners. That's how easy it is for women to replace men. We have options because we have standards. And when you're not easy to please, when you're not easy to get there's always a line behind you when you're in demand, you know? And I'm not saying that to be conceited or anything. I'm just saying that's true. If you're, if you always mess with men who are losers, scum, uh, habitual uh, liars, and stuff like that, no one's going to be waiting in line for you because they see what your worth is, you know? No one's going to be waiting in line for you. You're not going to have anybody on the back burner because, you know, you're just not worth it, you know? If you have higher standards and don't, and don't take stuff, learn from your mistakes, move on, upgrade, yes, you have options. That's why I say it's so important for women to have standards. Don't try to go by what mor uh, mor morals society forces on women to have to be considered a good woman because a good woman is a smart woman. Okay, a good woman is not a woman that's going to stand by a loser's side until he drags her and her children down and her future generations down. That's a dumb woman. It might look like a good woman in uh, some people's eyes, but it's a stupid woman in my eyes. Okay, because if my mom had done that, I would not be where I am today. I would probably be somewhere broke, poor, living in a bad environment repeating her cycle, okay? So yes, it's not about being a morally good woman to some loser guy. No, it's about being a smart woman who's looking out for her future generations. That's what it's about. And I applaud Sierra for upgrading on a loser and giving her son what he needs, a dad. <clears throat> I mean, no one had a problem when she was posing and taking pictures with all his baby mama and kids because they were okay with it. The moms know. The moms were like, oh yeah, you know, when he falls off because he's a rapper and he's not even that great of a rapper, when he falls off of his career and he, he's no longer making music, well, we still have Sierra to support us because she's getting ready to marry him. So that means more money. You know, they weren't, they didn't care about, they weren't jealous because they knew that his, his career is limited and hers might be too. But now that she's upgraded to a man with money, $87 million plus, I mean, that's just one contract. You know, her, she can retire tomorrow and live happily ever after for the rest of her life. You know, you have to understand that women have to upgrade. They can't go backwards in life. Men, they go backwards, they leave the country, they try to do, they try every which way but just being right, okay? They try every which way to escape <laughs> responsibility and being a decent person and a decent father. They, they, they try to escape every way except for just doing the, the right thing, you know? I mean, how many, how many times can you make a mistake and not learn from it? I mean, that's insanity. 
So ladies, yes, you have your options. You can always upgrade, you can do better. There's another man waiting around the corner that will make your life even better. If I had a stuck with my ex-boyfriend, the guy I was with before I met my husband and just say, oh, I'm gonna be a good woman. I'm gonna support him. I'm gonna have his back. I would be living in some crack apartments, okay? I would be living in apartments where people sold crack on the corner, okay? That's where I'd be living if I was a morally good woman. But since I have standards and a brain and I want to uh, do certain things in my life, I, I said, you know what? This is not for me, okay? I, I, I didn't even live like that growing up. So why would I accept that? You know, why would I accept that from a man just because I want to be a morally good woman? No, if you can't, if you can't give me better than my mom and my, my dad, my stepdad gave me as a, as a child, as a teenager, then I can't have anything to do with you, you know? And I know that's snobbish and I know that's wrong, but we're supposed to be going forward in life, not backwards. And the partners that we choose determine our future generations. So ladies, gentlemen, get your stuff together. Stop ex ex accepting lame excuses from these guys that, oh, I need me a good woman or, or he's a simp. Yeah, he's a simp. Whatever a simp means to, you know what? Men who use the word simp are usually broke. I'm just gonna say it. Men who use the word simp cannot afford the woman that they want. So they just label the men who can simps. But that simp is happy. That simp has food on his table every night. That simp has sex. That simp has a beautiful woman that every other man want but couldn't afford and get, okay? That simp has the life you wish you had, okay? That simp doesn't have to go <laughs> to other foreign countries looking for sex, okay? So, thumbs up if you agree with me, ladies. Men, if you don't, I already know you're gonna comment anyway. Just try to keep it decent because YouTube blocks comments that are ignorant and uh, full of profanity. So it doesn't get shown anyway. So try to keep it, you know, try to use vocabulary that you actually um, can consider English language, you know, instead of profanity. You know, they say a lot of people that use profanity lack and vocabulary so let's see how good you can do without calling people out of their name and using vocabulary that is inappropriate okay let's see how smart you really are thanks for watching bye bye